Rectangular hyperbola has the equation x squared minus y squared equals negative 25. So it says, first of all, determine the direction of transactions axis, locate the vertices, and determine if the coordinates are on the graph. So first things first, what's the transaxis? Well, the way this equation is oriented, if we look back at our equations here, well, if it's x squared minus y squared equals negative a squared, it's trans y. So this is a case here. So this is a trans y. So the first thing is we have to establish that it's trans y. Okay, so that's very important. So it goes, the hyperbola is going to go up and down in this manner. Okay, once I've determined this trans y, I just need to figure out the a value, which is going to establish the vertices. So if, if a squared is 25, a is equal to 5. That means then, the center being at 0, 0, I'm going to go 5 up, 5 down to establish my vertices. So that's 0, negative 5. That's going to be 0, positive 5. So then, once I've located the vertices, it's a rectangular hyperbola. So I know the asymptotes. Either they're going to be plus or minus 1. And then I can then sketch my graph of this based on this asymptotes and vertices. Okay, so the graph's going to look like that. Okay, so then the last part here is determine which of these coordinates are on the graph. I just need to substitute in the 0, 0. So if I put in the equation, if I put 0, 0 into this equation, well, that's not going to equal negative 25. So that's going to be not a coordinate. And we can see on the graph there, there is 0, 0. 0, 5 is, okay, and again, if I substitute 0, 5, yeah, that actually equals negative 25, so that's a check. This one here, I'm going to have to check, so 3 over 4 up, could be close, but I can always check. Again, x and y coordinates must fit the equation in a relationship, so I'm going to go 3 squared minus 4 squared equals negative 25. Well, that's not true, okay? Because 3 squared minus 4 squared, uh, that's going to give us 7, negative 7. That's not equal to negative 25. So again, that coordinate would not be on the graph. Okay, so what about this one? Again, it's important that we recognize it's a rectangular hyperbola because the rectangular hyperbola tell us, tells us about the asymptotes. So the asymptotes... is going to be at y equals plus minus 1x. Okay, so if I were to sketch this graph, I have center of the origin. Okay, I have asymptotes are going to be plus minus 1. And to figure out, well, is it going this way? Okay, or is it going this way? I can't really tell. So I have to really actually figure out where this coordinate is. In fact, this coordinate, this is about, if I were to estimate, it's about 9 along the x, 3 along the y. Well, 9 over 3 up. That's definitely not going to be trans y. It's got to be trans x. So based on this coordinate, so this is, I'm going to, be able to label this, 3 root 10, comma 3. Okay, we could do, we could try an inequality as well. But basically, this, if I could test this coordinate along the asymptotes, it's definitely going to be below the asymptote, which means then this must be trans, a trans x graph. And that's important. We have to know if it's trans x or trans y because we don't know how to set up the equation. Because now that it's trans x, we can now set up the equation this way. x squared minus y squared equals positive a squared. Okay, because we know this, we know what the equation is, now I can actually just solve for a. And I know this graph looks something like this, so I'm just going to sketch it in in red. Okay, so it's going to just go through there. We have, no, I don't know exactly what it looks like, but I know that that point is on the graph. Well, if I know that point's on the graph, I can substitute in any coordinate on the graph must fit the x and y equation. 
If that's true, then I have an equation to solve for a. This ends up being 90 minus 9 is 81 is equal to a squared. Well, I've solved my equation. a is equal to 9. I know it's trans x. I know that distance from here to here. The vertex is going to be at 9, 0. There's my a value. a equals 9. That's my graph. It's consistent with what I was given here, the information given. My equation then becomes x squared minus y squared equals positive 81. Okay, and I'm going to put positive just to emphasize that. We, we had to determine the trans x. Okay, so I'm going to highlight that with that. Okay, and the trans x came from that coordinate being below, it was below that asymptote. Okay, what about this one? This is x squared minus y squared equals 4 over 9. So I should really, first of all, again, establish this is trans. This is x squared minus y squared equals positive. So it's trans x. So that's the first thing. Since I have the equation, I can see that the a value is going to be 2 over 3. So this is my graph. Now, it just asks me, this actually is just asking, what does the inverse look like? Hmm. So this is going to be trans x with, you know, my points here and here. Okay, so that's going to be 2 thirds, 0, and I have my asymptotes like that, and I'm going to have it looking like that. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that, but that's 2 thirds, 0. That's where the vertex is. What does the inverse going to look like? Well, if I switch the x and y, really what's all that's happening is I get y squared minus x squared equals 4 over 9. Well, the a value is still the same. Only thing that's really changed, this is still a rectangular hyperbola, so the asymptotes don't change, so those still stay the same. Okay. The only thing that changes is it goes from trans x to trans y. So now I'm going to have a trans y graph that looks like that. Okay. And my x, this coordinate here, is now 2 over 3. Okay. Just like with regular inverses, I switch the x and y of this vertex, I get that vertex in that position. If I switch the x and y's of all these positions, I'm just basically going to get a reflection of the black graph onto the purple graph. Okay, so this is uh, what my inverse looks like. This is trans y. Okay, and the vertex, the a value still stays the same. It's two thirds. Okay, and the asymptotes still stay the same. 